beginning now? Back to the beginning? Yeah.
Okay, from there on out, that was all the transitions. We got the key change, everything's good there. Let's check out uh, Pop and Circumstance really quickly, just the beginning. Okay. thing by any stretch. Subdivide, keep them nice and short, melody's nice and long. Second time, where do we go back to? Five. What if we have to do it a third time? Where do we go back to? Five. Yes, it's always back to five until you see this and then we stop it there. Make sure you're watching for the key changes, right? There are two of them. Make sure we get both of them. We don't want to hear any E flats or E naturals in the places that they don't belong. Great job, folks. This is our last performance for the year. I'm sure it's going to be a great one. Everything just ran really nicely just now. We'll start playing Moana in like five minutes, okay? So get Moana back up. Get Moana back up. Percussion, get ready for Moana. Okay, we'll be doing Moana in about five minutes. Let's keep it all in rehearsal. start playing the other piece in about a minute or two here. Okay, so you going to do your other piece. That'll end just before four, like maybe two, three minutes before four. And then, yeah. And where are you going to be, Jason? You're up there? Okay. Ben, you all know Mr. T. Mr. T is going to be up on the stage. He's going to wave to us when it's time to start playing Pomp and Circumstance. I'm going to be looking that way probably to try to make sure that he gets, that I check to see it. But if you see it and I don't, just be like, yo, Mr. Bishop, let's start, okay? <laughs> Four o'clock. Thanks, Mr. T. Yeah, if we're all thinking to look there, one of us will remember and we'll see. Yo. What's getting real? Yeah, it is. And just think, the next one year from now, you'll be there and not here. Oh my god, we're gonna have a Oh my god, I'm gonna get so
sunscreen before you got here. I know I did. So, North Voice folks, North Voice folks, when it's your time to go, just go like over to the track and go along the fence as, as close as you can, like right by where the people who are sitting down here. That way, you're not like in the middle of the action. Okay. Or actually, you know what? I think the graduates will all be like lined up, so you can probably even go on this side. Either way, that way across. Okay.
over for pop and circumstance, okay? Very nice job, man. Beautiful stuff. We're halfway there.
Good afternoon, parents, guardians, family, friends, faculty, administrators, school board members, and most importantly, the class of 2022. Welcome to Council Rock High School North's graduation of the class of 2022. The 52nd class to be graduating from Council Rock High School, now Council Rock High School North. I am Jason Truskevich, the proud principal of North, and it is my honor to welcome all of you to Walt Snyder Stadium for our commencement ceremony. At this time, would everyone please rise and join me in the singing of our national anthem, followed by a moment of silence. Pause for a moment of silence. Thank you. You can all be seated. Thank you, Mr. Ryan Carlin and the members of the choir ensemble, and Mr. Wayne Bishop and members of the symphonic march and concert bands for their music performances during today's ceremony. On stage with me today include Dr. Andrew J. Sanko, Superintendent of Schools, as well as members of the Council Rock Board of School Directors, Mr. Ed Solomon, President, Dr. Michael Thorwart, Vice President, Mr. Bob Hickey, Ms. Kristen Marcel, Ms. Marianne McKee, Mr. Michael Roosevelt, and Mr. Edward Tate. Also extending their best wishes to our graduates are Dr. Susan Elliott, Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Charles Lambert, Director of Special Services, and Ms. Yoda Pali and Mr. Joseph Hildago, School Board Directors. Soon to be joining on stage will be Alex Dander Demetz, Amanda Herpel, and Danielle Galina, student speakers, followed by Anjali Shukla, Class of 2022 President. Today's accomplishments did not happen in isolation. With us today are members of Council Rock High School North faculty who have educated, supported, and motivated these students. Their contributions often go unnoticed, but they have impacted each student in front of us today. Also in attendance are faculty members from our sending elementary and middle schools. They helped develop a strong educational foundation for our students during their first nine years of formal education. Thank you to each and every one of you. Class of 2022, look in the stands. See if you can find your family. Their support of you has been essential in reaching today's culminating event. You would not be here today if it was not for them. So again, we give you as a school, families, a huge thank you. Students, give your parents a big wave, blow a kiss, big smile. Again, they are huge for you being here today. Four years ago, 
When I first met this class in Newtown Middle School's auditorium, I asked the students to pursue a passion while at North. Since that meeting, students have been recognized locally, at the state level, and nationally for achievement in academics, athletics, the visual and performing arts, and community service. Their passion has been their motivator. Evidence of this is Flavian's work in the sciences, AJ and Carson in the marching band, Ashley and Austin on the court were in the field, Victoria, Jamie, and Caroline in future business leaders of America, Sammy, Amanda, and Elliot preparing and performing on stage, as well as Varun and all the scholars that are being recognized today for their amazing academic achievement. Sometimes evidence of the passion and impact is on a smaller scale, such as TJ and the Chirp Squad cheering on their classmates no matter what the conditions are, Katie advocating for tutoring hours to help students who are educationally struggling, or Kate's positive attitude running numerous SEB events at the school and through the community. We could go through a list of each and every one of you standing here today and share something that you are passionate about and how you have made a positive impact here at North. Your personal touch on this school is going to impact all the classes to follow, so thank you. As we meet here and speak as a final time, I ask you to take a risk in your future. You're more than prepared for the next steps of your life. You may not believe me, but ask your siblings or other past graduates, and they will tell you, you are ready. You have the knowledge and the skills to take a chance. Enroll in a course that may be a stretch. Apply for a job that may be out of your comfort zone. Go on a trip and see a new part of the world. Or go ask out that special someone. As you move beyond the comforts of North, I want you to create your own stories. And I want you to create a story that does not include what ifs. That mentality of taking a risk will afford you a life of unlimited opportunities. Class of 2022, go out into this world and make it a better place. Each and every one of us in this audience today know you have that potential and those capabilities and we want you to go prove yourselves. So class, keep us updated on all the amazing things you do, and we are extremely proud of each and every one of you. Now, to recognize each member of Council Rock High School North's graduating class of 2022, I would like to introduce Mr. Don Foster, social studies teacher, and Ms. Diana Morris Bauer, English teacher and department coordinator. The distinguished scholars for the class of 2022. Abhijith Bolasetti. <laughs> Catherine Daniels. Flavian Paul Moise. Michael Osmolovsky. Mora Elizabeth Ott. Claire Elizabeth Pave. Varun Ragupathi. Simon Wayne Rupp. and David George Wenger. The officers of the class of 2022, Anjali Anand Shukla, President and Commencement Speaker, Brett Robert Gardner, Vice President, Maya Muravlev, Secretary, Simon Wayne Rupp, Treasurer, Robert Christopher Miller, Public Relations, the Student Executive Board, Caitlin May Logan, President, 
Catherine Isabella Slough, Public Relations. Morgan McCaffrey. Tony J. Blancado. Catherine E. Daniels, Student Advisory Board. Commencement speakers. Alexander Martin Demetz. Amanda Maya Herpel. Danielle Elizabeth Galina. And now, the class of 2022. Claire Elaine Abramson. Daniel Alexander Lockwood. Ashley Lair Adams. Joseph Anthony Lafredo III. Connor Joseph Ahern. Andrew Lai. Ina Axelrud. Adam Richard Magloff. Renee Celise Imperio Alberto. Aisha Sayeta Malik. Sophia Angel Alfieri. Man Shaleen Cheklam. Nicholas James Alaborn. Ethan Thompson Mancinelli. So he on. Samantha A. Morano. Callie Joe Anderson. Maya Rose Marcus. Ava Katerina Angelakis. Haley Lynn Marchine. Shane Matthew Anhalt. Nolan Charles Massaro. Julia Marie Arabia. Daniel Nicholas Massimini. Sarah Lily Argetta. Mia Elena Mastercola. Lauren Bat. John Master Simone the Fourth. Molly Lauren Baronshub. Kira Hope Mayer. Ethan Samuel Bear. Joseph McClay. Cameron James Berger. James Raymond McCullough. Jeremy Ryan Berman. Ryan Paul McDonnell. Jennifer Elizabeth Batelli. Colin John McGurl. Megan McKaney Bissell. Avery Elaine McLaughlin. Drake Taylor Parry Bogert. Ryan Patrick McNamee. Sydney Rebecca Bonnachdar. Riley McGargle. Alexia C. Booker. Madison Lynn Menzen. Joseph Ryan Borden. Annabelle George Mercado. Jamie Ann Bordner. Ethan Jeremy Mercado. Olivia Baruta. Ashley Elizabeth Mernicki. Andrew James Bauer. Emily Addington Milheim. Brandon H. Boyd. Anna Marie Miller. Annalise Paige Brandberg. Elena Bernadette Miller. Taylor Jason Brennan. Abigail Dana Millman. 
Elliot Michael Brenner. Lucas John Mirak. Ezra Jerome Briskin. Arnav Manat. Nathan Birdo. Michael Samuel Moldovchuk. Anthony Richard Burke. Rocco A. Montero. Ryan M. Burkett. Jack Tyler Morgan. Eric Charles Burton. Quentin James Morgenthaler. Madison Grace Byrne. Megan Lucy Moriarty. Justin Michael Calabro. Yegor Morozov. Madeline Antoinette Carfagno. Rebecca Lee Muroff. Alessandra H. Carpentier. Ryan Andrew Muroff. Isabella R. Carpentier. Julia Kathleen Murphy. Brian Thomas Cavanaugh. Andrew Myers. Connor Lewis Sell. Aaron Myers. Colin James Amin Char. Samuel Naraditsky. John Michael Chalupa. Elizabeth Nelson. Jennifer Mary Elizabeth Charno. Mayani Lynn Wynn. Alexis Ninel Chechelnitsky. Isabella Grace Nicholson. Sky Daniel Cheng. Frederick William Arthur Nolte. Jonathan H. Chisholm. Joseph Peter O'Neill. Nicholas Anthony Serincioni. Carson Edward Akmanowitz. Paige Elizabeth Clark. Riley Jean Ogden. Riley Aurora Clark. Kyle Brendan Oros. Tyler Storm Clausen. Marina D. Astanana. Brittany Drew Co. Nasser Admani. Riley Collins. Jackson Matthias Palm. Lena Rose Conti. Surya Panier. Jacob Daniel Contento. Panayatis Chung Hyung Papa Mahio. Faith Louise Corbin. Bernard M. Perrant III. Chase Braden Corin. Wilton Samuel Posh. Lauren Elizabeth Cox. Dia Patel. Nathan Carlos Cranmer. Rhea Hiron Patel. Mara Grace Kennard. John Leonard Peace the Fourth. Elena Nicole Sib. Catherine Morgan Piercy. Cristiano Anthony Dantuono. Mara Rose Penner. Gabriella Nicole Daggett. Alexis Tuni Tron Penrose. Eric Aaron Davies. Jamie Gabrielle Pereira. Caroline Molly DeCourt. Jessica Marie Perigo. Liam Dellinger. 
Thomas Michael Petta. Kira Anna Delson Yor. Marley Pethica. Anthony Lawrence DePaulo. Sandra Nikolaeva Petrova. Jack Ciro DePaulo. Stephen Javier Phillips. Nicholas John DePaulo. Xavier Wade Pittman. Michael James Dorenzo. Catherine Mary Pisa. Salvatore Jerome DeSena. Maxim Podgayetsky. Carter David Detweiler. Kristen Amanda Polinski. Isha Dev. Emily Sarah Pollock. Jaden Kevin Devlin. Gavin M. Radosti. Sophia Laurel Di Donato. Matthew Robert Rafa. William H. Demedio. Nathan Thomas Rambo. Abby L. Doratov. Jason Ramirez Lopez. Charles Oscar Doherty III. Logan Pierce Rank. Connor Anthony Dune. Shannon Rose Randall. Nari Dunn. Amora Renee Reardon. Leah Zahida Dutko Teasley. Sanjana Reddy. Ryan James Egan. Elizabeth Purcell Reichenbach. Anna Rose Eckert. William Thomas Reichenbach. Samia Mariana L. Hubber. Chloe Kirsten Riley. Andrew C. Elko. Matthew Ross Reinhardt. Reed Cameron Elson. Marlena Rose Reese. Jared Epstein. Karina Rifton. Jackson Eshelman. Shannon Bridget Riley. Jordan Evans. John Walter Scott Ripper. Brendan Fail. Audrey Elizabeth Robb. Daria Falkowski. Kevin Gary Roberts. Julia Rose Feibush. Chase Foster Robinson. Valerie Feng. Riley May Rolipsky. Benjamin Ryan Fennelly. Mia Luth Rowley. Alexander James Fiore. Robert Maxwell Rupp. Audrey Fisher. Logan Michael Russell. Thomas Albert Fishman. Jeevan Singh Sabarwal. Nicholas Roland Fusella. Dylan O'Hara Safko. Reed A. Foreman. Alexander Augustine Segola. Jacob Ian Fox. Logan Joshua Safer. Fabrizio Marikinos Franceschelli. William H. Salvador. Marcelo Marikinos 
Francis Skelly. Isaac Samuel. Ella Paris Ferner. Christopher Santiago. Anthony Paul Gambesia Jr. Nitin Sathya. Alexander Garrison. Dean Smith Scalamandre. Joshua Garrison. Lynn Scardino. Jacqueline Renee Gefter. Emma Schaefer. Jupiter Gessner. Claire Louise Schaefer. Caroline E. Geddes. Timothy William Schaefer. Panit Gill. Carrie Swade Schlafman. Cole Harrison Gilmer. Alicia Farah Schneider. Anthony Teodoro Godonis. Aiden Hunter Schnell. Jacqueline Ann Goldman. Brenna Eve Schoenfeld. Gregory J. Golini. Brady Daniel Shibona. Nahal Gopanathan. William Shield Scott. Madeline J. Gosling. Carson Theodore Schaefer. Noah Harrison Gould. William Michael Cheneau. Kyle Joseph Gray. Sophia Ann Shields. Logan Gross. James Daniel Schmarock. Victoria Hackshaw Gittens. Claire Eileen Sichel. Callie Catherine Haggerty. Luke William Sill. Carly Hag. Kara Jade Silverman. Solomon Hackma. Daniel James Simon. Joshua William Halper. Arushi Singh. Riley Elizabeth Hamilton. Aman Ashish Satapra. Jack William Harar. Hunter James Smith. Ishan Oleno Hardaway. Jacob Connor Smith. Samantha Grace Haugen. Emma Catherine Sotilli. Allison Page Heights. Haley Olivia Sousa. Carl Thomas Henry. Zach Cosman Spronell. Jacob Cole Henschel. Austin Russell Stalker. Jake Duverney Herspiegel. Juliana Sunshine Starcinic. Sarah Hubeck. Isabella Rose Stein. Henry K. Higgins. Alexander Francis Stempin. Brianna Marie Hill. Michael Lowry Stolsteimer. Justin M. Himes. Aaron Francis Stone. Brooke Ivy Hornstein. Ethan Jack Stranford. Lucas Brant 
Hubbard. Joseph Jack Saluski. Joshua Huddy. Corinne Ray Southard. Samuel Max Igval. Sean Sipek. Nathan Anefri Inyang. William Michael Takis. Christine Marie Jablonski. Sean Tangrady. Sydney Johnson. Sarah Teitelman. Christopher Michael Jones. Isabella May Thier. Apoorva Amar Joshi. Vishvak Thira Cullen. Gabrielle Rose Kalajian. Tyler Vincent Thrutchley. Jeremy Matthew Camp. Mark Stephen Titus. Dylan Scott Karcher. Emma Lourdes Tobias. Jake Ryan Karp. Jake Patrick Tupalevich. Tyler Samuel Karp. Sergio Trenich. Lauren Dina Katsanos. Dominic William Peter Valone. Mark A. Katsuf. Dylan Van Skoik. Casey Lynn Kaufman. Alexandra Elizabeth Varela. Raihana Kayumi. Gabriella Diane Vasilozzo. Madeline Rose Kerner. Alyssa V. Vinogradova. Abdul Rahman Khan. Yes, Lily, Lilia Grace Vogel. Jack Michael Cazales. Dominic Michael Wagner. Michael Andrew Kiedeich. Noah Nelson Wallace. Juliana Jihya Kim. Crystal Wong. Sinhyun Kim. Ingrid C. Wong. Sophia Yumin Kim. Andrew Ryan Weed. Caden Bradley Kindred. Hannah Ruth Weiss. Abigail Louise King Taggart. Abigail Catherine Whitney. Sarah Irene Kernan. Colin Thomas Williams. Brady Dylan Klein. Anna Catherine Williamson. Sri Chandra Vamshi Kodavali. Rebecca Jean Winchin. Benjamin Timothy Kof. Eleanor McLaren Walcott. Sawyer Joseph Koza. Ayana Elise Womack. Joy Elizabeth Crewman. Jonathan Brandon Womack. Maria Kathleen Kumor. Noel Elizabeth Wood. Eric Philip Kuttner. Destiny Marie Wyatt. Jaden H. Levski. Aaron E. Young. Matthew Bernhard Lang. Shana Lee Zaconino. Amanda Reese Lipinski. Martin M. Zaksowskis. 
Julia Grace LaPlante. Joseph Zingari. Anthony Justin LaPreet. Emma Nicole Zoldai. Caitlin Leach. Martin McDonald Zuzula. Sarah Mitchell Leaning. Alexandra Page Leeser. Meredith Riley Lentz. Daniela Juliette Lepore. James William LaRue. Gabrielle Elizabeth Liberto. Alexander Jordan Lieberman. Benjamin Aaron Stecker Lieberman. Shannon Rose Lydell. Alex M. Liu. Let's all give them another round of applause. In addition to the previous acknowledgement of the class of 2022 distinguished scholars, whose weighted GPA fell in the top 2% of the class and are seated in the front row on the home side. The class of 2022 scholars are the remaining students in the top 10% of their class. At this time, I ask all students, distinguished scholars and scholars, to please stand for your recognition. You can be seated. I'm additionally honored to recognize those brave young graduates from the class of 2022 who are ready to stand up for freedom and democracy in an increasingly turbulent world. Would all students enlisting in the armed services or, or ROTC program please rise for acknowledgement. Thank you. At this time, would all please rise and join us in singing Council Rock's alma mater, led by Council of Rock Newark's choir ensemble under the direction of Mr. Ryan Carlin. Please be seated.
It is now my great pleasure to introduce our first student speaker, Alexander Demetz, whose speech, go ahead, <laughs> whose speech is entitled Star Stuff. Hi there. For those who do not know me, my name is Alex Demetz. Thank you so much for allowing me to speak today. First of all, congratulations to us all. Now I could stand here and list everything that we have done throughout our last 12 years, how we finished our finals, got through middle school, have successfully gone from get off your phone and get to class to get on your laptop and get to class. <laughs> the list goes on. But instead, I would like to look towards our futures and offer some advice. It's pretty simple and a little cheesy, but regardless, here it is. Find what makes you different and embrace it. Allow me to explain. For those who do not know me, I was born with hearing loss in both of my ears. And in first grade, I was given hearing aids. When I first got them, I was pretty oblivious for the most part. Granted, I was seven, so I couldn't really understand the weight of my situation. But as I grew older, I grew to understand, and I began to hid them. I didn't want people to ask what I was wearing my ears or even pay attention to me. Because of that, I became pretty reclusive and kept to myself, simply because of my hearing loss. But this all came to an end in eighth grade science class of all places. I had a teacher named Mr. Holmes, the strangest person I have ever met. This man had a puppet of Carl Sagan named Mini Carl Sagan, and he once poured actively boiling water onto himself to prove a point about the pressurization of liquids but he remains one of my favorite teachers I've had to this day. One day, rather early in the year, he was discussing the explosions of stars which caused the early formation of our planet, and later, us. He said something that has stuck with me ever since he said it. We are made of star stuff. That night, I thought about how wonderful that is, that we all come from the stars. And if one of my favorite teachers could stand up in front of a bunch of judgy middle school students and tell us that we were born from the stars and present himself however he wanted, I had nothing to hide from. The next day, I got a haircut and cut out the sections around my ears. From that day forth, I made it loud and proud that I have hearing loss. All that to say, from what embracing what may be different, I have learned so much about myself today. I stand proudly as a differently abled queer person who loves all things nerdy. To restate, Find what makes you unique. Does not mean that you have to be neurodivergent or differently abled, or that you have to embrace that if you happen to be. It could be anything, your interests, your gender, your sexuality, your race, your beliefs, you name it. As you come to embrace this mindset for yourself, here's some advice I can grant you. One, there's no such thing as normal. We are complex people with different upbringings, and there's no way that everyone will have the exact same experience in life. Do not be afraid to be different, because everyone is. Similarly, do not think that is one singular thing that makes you unique. Like I said before, it could be a million different things which makes us different, so why only choose one? Two, your personality is not solely dependent on what makes you different. Has hearing loss is not my personality and will never be. However, I embrace it as part of myself and it makes me more proud of who I am. Four, you will naturally gravitate towards people with the same differences as you. I myself have found a group of people who I know love and accept me for who I truly am. And in the same vein, however, you might have people break ties with you. But that's okay. They weren't worth your time anyway. And lastly, don't be afraid to reassess what is important to you in life. If something you are doing doesn't or no longer fits into the person you want to be, then the only person truly stopping yourself from changing is you. At the end of the day, life would be boring if all of us were the exact same person with the exact same interests. When I look out to all of you today, I can see that what Mr. Holmes was saying was true. We are made of star stuff, and I can see it glisten in each and every one of us. So let's make an explosion in the world and let everyone know who we are. Thank you for having me, and congratulations. Great job. Our next student speaker is Amanda Herpel, whose speech is titled, Being Ready.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amanda Herbel, and it is an honor and a privilege to address the students, faculty, families, and staff members today at the commencement exercises of the class of 2022 at Council Rock High School North. Are you ready? Yeah, be done in a minute. That question starts very early in life with our parents calling out to us to see if we're ready to go to school, a party, soccer practice, or our grandparents' house. Everyone in our lives just wants to know one thing. Are you ready? Many bands have songs asking this question, from Miley Cyrus to Creed, ACDC, and even Bob Dylan. But his version wants to know, have you got some unfinished business? Is there something holding you back? Are you thinking for yourself? Are you following the pack? The question continues about that upcoming history test, keystone exam, chemistry quiz, our Spanish teacher asks, estas listo? The SAT, calculus quiz, college tour, AP exam, the Steel Magnolias performance, just one question, are you ready? Even some of the parents, family members, teachers, advisors, coaches, and administrators are sitting here today and maybe asking themselves, are they ready? I think my parents and I first realized while attending Goodnow Elementary and seeing the motto every student, every day on the emails that the teachers and staff were there to help us succeed. Throughout middle school and then into high school, the more I looked, the more I realized it was more about a mutual respect and a common goal that we were there to maintain a bridge of open dialogue between student and teacher that would help lead us to the realization of our goals, whatever they may be. It is said that when a, the student is ready, the teacher will appear. When the student is truly ready, the teacher will disappear. Here at Council Rock North, the teachers were always there. Before and after school, clinic, phone calls, emails, they were always available to help. They made us feel as if we had someone in our corner, someone there fighting for us. I'm not referring to only principals such as Mr. Cheskevich and Mr. Griesbaum, but the countless teachers like Ms. Greisel, Ms. Hampt, Mr. Epstein, counselors like Ms. Rogers, librarians like Ms. Pagano, and staff members like Ms. Legey, Mr. Montgomery, and Mr. Rosen were always there for us. On Monday nights, we are still asked, are you ready for some football? Saturday night fights of the past began with, are you ready to rumble? My years in the soccer goal all began with the referee asking, goalkeeper, are you ready? In addition to sports, there are unlimited opportunities available to Council Rock students. As team leader captain on the Rock Ambassadors Council, an officer of the National Honor Society, singing with symphonic choir and North Voice, a choir officer, and initially as a member working behind the scenes to performing and finally becoming president of Sock and Buskin, I became a part of a family of kind and talented people who supported me and were always there to cheer me on. Confucius even weighs in on about being ready telling us that success depends upon previous preparation, and without such preparation, there is sure to be failure. But for the students gathered here today, such failure is not an option. Through Hurricane Sandy, recessions, masking, tornadoes, pandemics, and remote learning, this class has been through it all. Were we ready? No. But we adapted, persevered, and are stronger individuals for it. For our story is not what we have been through but rather the successes we've enjoyed in spite of it. And with this, I must call out to the class of 2022. Please, let me hear your voices and ask, are you ready? I think we can do better than that. Are we ready? So our message and response to all of the parents, family members, teachers, advisors, coaches, and administrators that are here with us today and have been throughout this journey, we are here to celebrate with you. Because today, the answer to the question, are we ready? For the work that lies ahead, the challenges we have before us, the goals and dreams we've sought out to achieve as we take this next step upon our journey. The answer is yes. Yes, we are ready. And for this, we say to you all, thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Our third student speaker is Danielle Galina, whose speech is titled, A Mother's Advice. Hello everyone and good afternoon. 
My name is Danielle Galino, and I am honored to be in front of each of you today. To the family members, friends, teachers, and administrators, thank you for your support today, as well as the past four years. Your love and encouragement is the reason that these young adults, my peers, are sitting in front of me. To my class, congratulations. Being with you all these past few years has been essential to my growth as a person, and I sincerely thank you. My high school experience has been incredibly unique. Halfway through my junior year, I was presented with an unfathomable reality, one that changed my life forever. In the few minutes I have to speak with you today, I'd like to recount a moment in my life when uncertainty revealed itself and through it taught me a beautiful lesson. A lesson I hope you take with you in your future. On December 12th, 2020, I lost my beautiful mother to her three and a half long year battle of ovarian cancer. My mother was and continues to be my idol, my mentor and my motivator to become the best version of myself that I possibly can. Her empathy for the world and the people in it was incredible and I attribute my entire personality to her. A few weeks before she passed, she became motionless and incapable of saying many words. However, one day, she said four words, four little words that will never leave my mind. You're nervous, it's okay. At that moment, I denied my nerves. I told her I was okay. I wanted her to know that I could be strong, even though in just a few days, my life was going to change forever. Each time I share this story, I reflect on her words and I apply them to the current situation I'm in. I didn't have enough time to study. I'm scared I'm gonna fail this test. You're nervous, it's okay. I'm performing my first ever solo at Acapella at the Rock this weekend. There are gonna be hundreds of people there. You're nervous, it's okay. I'm graduating high school, moving states away to attend college in the fall with no idea what I wanna do with my life. You're nervous, it's okay. My friends, we are about to experience great change. Wherever your path may lead you, whether it's attending college, interviewing for a new job, moving out of our parents or guardians' houses, or even staying close to home, we will each experience change. It is completely normal and expected to be nervous. Do not deny your feelings, accept them. It is going to be okay. You are capable of everything that you put your mind to. Allow your nerves to be the motivator. When my mom died, I was nervous for my future, and honestly, I still am. But I've learned that the best way to embrace change is to first embrace my emotions. To my friends and family, I love you, and thank you for all the support that you've given me these past few years. I couldn't have done it without you. To Mr. T and other principals, thank you for your dedication to your students and your kindness towards me. To the teachers and staff members who have made my high school experience unforgettable, I thank you. And lastly, to my mom, I love you and I hope I've made you proud. Class of 2022, I am so proud of the people that you have become. Good luck in the future. Thank you, Danny. Our final student speaker is Anjali Shukla, class of 2022 president, whose speech is entitled, The Butterfly Effect. Thank you, Mr. Triskevich, for that introduction. And thank you, Alex, Amanda, and Danny, for those incredibly touching speeches. Parents, grandparents, and everyone else who helped get us here, my name is Anjali Shukla, and it has been my honor to serve as class president for the past few years. I want to begin by personally thanking our faculty and administration for making Council Rock North an environment where I can truly say I learned something new every day. Thank you to our teachers, for the countless hours you devoted to making us not only better students, but better people. Thank you to our class principal, Mr. Griesbaum, for always establishing that us, as students, had your endless support and first priority. Thank you to our loved ones for being a consistent source of encouragement. And lastly, I want to thank my fellow class officers, Brett, Maya, Simon, and Bobby, for teaching me how to work in teams and for being some of my best friends. Standing on this stage, 
I look out at the Council Rock North class of 2022, and I see many of the people that have shaped my identity. Furthermore, I see the endless memories, cheering alongside the Chirp Squad during Friday night football games, the five minute catch up sessions while switching periods, the comfort we saw at the night before a big bio test, and all the good, bad, and ugly that we experienced together. It's these minuscule aspects of our lives that truly have the biggest effect, and it's unimaginable that our time as a class is coming to an end. We are a culmination of our experiences together, and it's sentimentally oxymoronic how bittersweet this day truly is. It's imperative that we recognize the level of unpredictability with which we entered these four years. Yet, here we are, as graduates, with a wealth of knowledge and individual identities that were unfathomable to our younger freshman selves. Not only have we learned concepts from prepositions to the periodic table, but we've reached new levels of maturity and intellectual curiosity that will drive every one of us to make a difference in this world. Every connection we've made, every learning experience we've cried over, every inspiring opportunity we couldn't wait to tell our parents about, every mere interaction has led to our successes. The instances we don't even stop to think about, like smiling at someone in the hallway or the smallest flap of a butterfly's wing, has led to the events that brought us to this joyous graduation day. And to think, this was only four of the 18 years we've lived, and only the beginning of the miraculous journey that is the rest of our lives. I entitled the speech The Butterfly Effect to truly emphasize the growth we've not only gone through ourselves, but we've seen each other endure. As humans who focus on milestones, we tend to forget the little occurrences that got us there. And this is a lesson we need to take forward with us as we become scientists, entrepreneurs, engineers, artists, and anything beyond the scopes of our current imaginations. My favorite author, Malcolm Gladwell, once said, who we are cannot be separated from where we're from. Never forget this message as you let the butterfly effect guide you through your future milestones. Some of you will proudly serve in the military. Some of you will graduate college. Some of you will travel the world. You'll get jobs, you'll get promoted, you may get married, you may have kids. These are all milestones that will continue to shape and grow our identities. The possibilities for our future are endless. And as you encounter new people, make new mistakes, and capitalize on new experiences, let every second make you into the best version of yourself. So, class of 2022, I leave you with a final message. Remember your roots and remember how the luck and hard work that accrues within the butterfly effect got you there. Take a look at the person to your right. Take a look at the person to your left. Take a look at the people who prepared us to embark on our next steps. And lastly, take a moment to reflect within yourselves and think about how far you've come. This is our time, class of 2022. It's time to make everyone sitting in the stadium proud and to make a meaningful difference in this world, no matter your next steps. Thank you again for giving me the privilege of being your class president. I am proud to have advocated for every one of you, and I could not have asked for a more supportive class through this time in student government. I wholeheartedly wish you a congratulations, and I am ecstatic that this is only the beginning of the milestones you will all soon accomplish. Thank you. Thank you, Alex, Amanda, Danielle, and Anjali for those amazing words. I think based off what we just heard, I think they're all ready. I think the parents here and teachers would agree with that. So again, congratulations to the four of you. Before I hand the microphone over to Dr. Andrew J. Sanko, I would like to thank three individuals who worked extremely closely with this class over the past four years. Mr. Daniel Griesbaum, class of 2022 principal, and Ms. Kimberly Greisel and Ms. Alexis Harris, class advisors. <laughs> Their hard work and support for each one of the students on the field today is second to none. And again, we thank you all for that hard work for them. They'll thank you in, after the ceremony. It is now my pleasure to introduce Andy Sanko, Council Rock School District Superintendent of Schools. Thank you. 
Graduates, this is your moment. A moment when your hard work, your dreams, and your future come together. The moment of transformation from Council Rock student to Council Rock alumnus, from Council Rock learner to part of Council Rock's legacy. This is the one moment you will never forget. Congratulations to you and your families. Members of the Board of School Directors, the students seated before you have met the requirements for graduation set forth by the Board of School Directors of the Council Rock School District and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I would like to congratulate them and introduce our school board president, Mr. Ed Solomon. Class of 2022, Council Rock North, are you ready? I guess you're not. I'll try it again. Here we go. Council Rock North, class of 2022, are you ready? Here we go. Parents, get ready. Grandparents, get ready. Let's go. Having met the requirements as set forth by the Board of Directors of the Council Rock School District and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I confer upon each of you a diploma recognizing your graduate status. Let's stand. Please. Move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. I now pronounce you graduates of Council Rock High School North. Congratulations. This concludes the graduation ceremony for Council Rock North's class of 2022. Thank you all for attending, and again, congratulations, seniors. Please make certain to report to the side tables to receive your diploma. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the summer, Jimmy. <laughs> we'll too.